example of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Did he ever, ever, ever hold anyone's past against them? Never did. Never did. Too many examples to list on here. Wahshi. Wahshi is the man who assassinated the uncle of the Prophet The death of the uncle, the murder of the uncle, the mutilation of the body of the uncle of the Prophet is one of the moments in his life where the Sahaba say, we, it was one of the few times where we saw the Prophet in such profound pain. Like he was crying. He was so deeply hurt. That when they walked back in, when they came back into Medina, the battle of Uhud, many Muslims had died on that day. And he could hear different family members crying when they were receiving the news of the death of their family member. The Prophet ﷺ started to cry as they were walking into Medina. And he started to say, today there is somebody crying for everyone who's died. But there's nobody crying for my uncle. Because my uncle's own family was the one who did this to him. That's how much pain he felt. But the man who carried out the assassination, the hit on Hamza radiallahu anhu, Wahshi, not only does the Prophet not hold a grudge against him, but the Prophet is the one who is having letter after letter after letter sent to Wahshi. Tell Wahshi to become Muslim. Tell Wahshi to change his life. Tell Wahshi that he should accept Islam. Tell Wahshi that Allah will forgive him. That's how merciful the Prophet was. That's how willing he was to overlook people's past. Hind. The woman who hired Wahshi to assassinate Hamza radiallahu anhu. And after he goes to her and he tells her the job is done. She goes down into the battlefield. She walks up to the dead body of Hamza lying there. She pulls out a dagger. She cuts his ears, his nose and his tongue out. Strings them up and keeps them as a souvenir. This is a woman. She then takes the dagger, puts it in his body, rips his body open, pulls out his internal organs and mutilates his body. This is a woman. She takes his clothes and rips his clothes off and completely exposes his body. A woman who did this. That's how much he hated the Prophet ﷺ. And that's how horrible, what a horrible act she had done to the Prophet ﷺ and his uncle. But on the day of Fatih Makkah, the Prophet ﷺ doesn't do anything to her. And when she comes to the Prophet ﷺ to accept Islam, Ahlan wa sahlan, marhaban bikum. He welcomes her, gives her the shahada, allows her to become Hind radiallahu anha. A companion, a female companion of the Prophet And the stories go on and on. Ikrama, the son of Abu Jahl, same thing. Khalid ibn al-Walid, the architect of the killing of dozens of Muslims on the day of Uhud. All of these people, they were embraced with open arms. And they were made to be close to the Prophet I mean, he accepted them as they were. And that's not all, those are people that did something against him, even people who are just bad people in society. The Prophet ﷺ embraced him with open arms. بذكر الصافنات شدا أغري به الريحان والكاد زدني وأسكن في دمي أملا أرمي به أحشاء حسان